Hey everyone, Skull902 back here again for Donkey Kong Country 2 Part 5. This is Gloomy Gulch World 5 here, and uh, basically uh, the whole point of this world is that it's a, a haunted forest. Uh, it's littered with ghostly enemies, ghostly ropes even, that uh, dissipate and uh, appear uh, in intervals and, and whatnot. It's uh, pretty tricky. And uh, I, I'm gonna talk about it right here, and uh, you know, as, as well as other things. Uh, I think, generally speaking, uh, this is like uh, one of the most interesting worlds to me, uh, as well as like it, it's got some of um, uh, the, the most annoying levels as well, like uh, Gusty Glade. Uh, there's a wind level uh, later on that's like the sort of gimmick uh, and then there's also uh, uh, web woods uh, which is another one that really gets me uh, that was a stupid fucking mistake so you know uh, it's it's a tough challenge this here world uh, but you know I, I made it through uh, that's why I'm doing this commentary right here is because I can beat the game lol uh, ah, that's unfortunate. So, in addition to talking about the, uh, world, I, I did actually, uh, do some reading up between parts on, uh, the Donkey Kong Country 2 manual, uh, I'll get to that. But, just before then, I want to talk about the, uh, cartoon again, and, uh, I, I'm not gonna do an episode summary, instead, uh, there's some general things, just, like, two general things that I wanted to talk about in terms of of uh, the, the show and uh, its content, uh, as it were. Uh, and that would be like... The, the first thing uh, is... I, I've mentioned a million fucking times how uh, Dixie Kong is a, a rare character in that show. She uh, does not appear too terribly often. Uh, and when she does, it, it's pretty insignificant, aside from that one episode, which I'm sure I'll do a summary of later on in this commentary. But something I'm, I'm surprised that I haven't mentioned is Dixie's nickname in the show, uh, which is sort of like a case of how the fuck did they get past the censors on this one? Uh... And, uh, the reason why I say that is because, uh, they don't ever really informally call the character Dixie. Like, nobody calls her Dixie in conversation, for whatever reason. Whenever a character talks to her, uh, they call her Dix. Dix. <laughs> I, I just want to, you know, assert that one more time. They call her Dix. So, you know, uh, I'm, I'm really just curious uh, as to whether they actually fucking uh, did that on purpose. They're, they're, it doesn't seem like, you know, that it would just be like some accident uh, or anything. I think they knew what they were doing. So, like, every once in a while... Uh, you know, I think the popular clip is, like, one of, um, her greeting Diddy, and, uh, and Diddy is just like, uh, Hey, dicks! <laughs> or, you know, whatever. Um, so, <laughs> uh, I, I just, I just find it kind of, uh, fucking funny that, uh, that they do that. Uh, other characters have nicknames, but they're not nearly as, you know, fun. Like, uh, Donkey Kong's almost always called DK. Sometimes, uh, Diddy gets called Dids, particularly by Dixie. So, yeah, before I get to the other thing uh, that I wanted to mention about the show, uh, I gotta mention this level's gimmick uh, here with the uh, uh, minecart level. So, uh, what we're seeing now are a bunch of uh, plus and minus barrels. Uh, you're being chased by an enemy called Cackle, who, appropriately enough, uh, likes to laugh at you. So, uh, basically, uh, when you cross those skull doors, uh, which I'm not responsible for, uh, he chases after you, and, uh, you gotta keep the timer going. Uh, plus barrels, obviously, are more time, they're good. Minus barrels are fucking terrible. Uh, 
And I, I cut it pretty fucking close here. You know, had I not made that lucky jump, I think, between the two minus barrels, I would have just been entirely fucked. Uh, there's a secret DK coin, by the way, underneath that platform. Uh, unfortunately, no secret Kong barrel, uh, as far as I know. Uh, so I'm just gonna go get the life and, uh, you know, end this level. Uh, I'm glad I got it on the first try, though I did lose Dixie, unfortunately. But, like, uh, the, the first room, I think, is about even. Uh, in terms of the the plus and minus, uh, the second is like uh, there's only plus barrels. The third is like there's only minus barrels, and then like the fourth one is like there's more minus barrels, and the plus barrels are in really tricky areas. Uh, and of course, uh, all the different versions of cackle have uh, different colors to uh, represent that. So like the even ones blue. Uh, the, the plus one's green, uh, the minus one's red, and, uh, the, the tricky one, uh, has a, like, a gray or a black bandana. Uh, so, that's, that's the gimmick. Speaking of gimmick levels, here we have Gusty Glade. Uh, this level is, uh, one where you, you don't control Ratley throughout the whole thing. You, you need him for a bonus barrel, I think, uh, but, you know, having an extra hit point in, in this kind of level is a, a good thing to have. And basically, uh, the wind will blow in a certain direction when you get to certain points in the level. Sometimes they do it in a rhythm, uh, and, and man, it can be a real bitch and a half to... Uh, uh, to get this right. Uh, I tried with, like, you know, everything that I had in order to get this fucking bonus barrel, but uh, it, it just didn't work. At least with, uh, with Ratley. Like, I, I couldn't get up there with Ratley at all. Uh, so. Oh well. Uh, you know. And I, I got the coin, uh, so that's a, that's a good thing. Uh, it didn't fucking fail miserably like I did those couple of times, uh, in the last part. Though I got pretty fucked right there. Um, but nah, the, the wind, like, it'll start blowing in a rhythm. And generally speaking, uh, it's, like, pretty annoying. It can it can get you at times, especially if, if you don't have the timing down pat uh, and, and all that. It's, uh, it, it can be a bitch. It can be uh, a, a, quite a bitch, especially here. Uh, though... Honestly, uh, you should be able to tell with the the direction of the wind when you should be jumping and when you shouldn't be. But that's just that's just like my opinion. Uh, it, it it can be one of the more annoying levels in this game because of the gimmick. So you gotta watch out for that. Now, uh, the second thing about the Donkey Kong Country TV show that I wanted to talk about was actually an original character who's not featured in any of the games, and I'm fucking sad that I missed that, uh, uh, that plateau there, because I, I could have got the DK coin. But there is an original character that they added to the cast who, uh, is not in any of the games, uh, and that would be Bluster Kong. Uh, Bluster Kong is, uh, the heir to, uh, the, uh, barrel making factory technically his mother owns it she's the one that uh you know has the barrels manufactured and stuff and uh he's he's just mooching off of her money to be perfectly honest uh so yeah before i get more into the bl uh into uh bluster uh this is parrot shoot panic uh which also introduces us to our final new animal buddy in the game uh this here is quacks uh, we're gonna be seeing him just very shortly. There's a DK coin at the beginning. You're, you're gonna need Dixie to get that one. Uh, but this is Quox, uh, who is distinct from Squox, not only in that he's purple, uh, but also, uh, Quox in this game cannot fly upwards. You know, he, uh, he can only, uh, go down, uh, Pressing the down button uh, or the up button uh, slows uh, and, uh, or, or rather, uh, holding the up button slows your descent, holding down speeds up your descent, uh, and then, of course, holding neither is, uh, like, you know, your middle speed. 
So, uh, you know, Quox will appear every now and uh, now and then. Uh, he will get tired of holding on to your uh, fat Kong asses uh, and, you know, eventually drop you. So uh, there is some timing involved in the process of, uh, you know, uh, using him. But there you go. This is this, this is uh, Quox's only appearance in uh, DKC2. He does appear in DKC3 in uh, a couple of levels and uh, becomes more useful. Because another thing about Quox is that uh, uh, he doesn't uh, shoot any projectiles. Uh, so, you know, th that can that can be fairly annoying here. Uh, you know, Squawk's here, he can fly up, he can, he can shoot the nuts. He, he's good at that, man. Like, he, he, is, he is the expert parrot here. Uh, Quox, I, I think, is just learning uh, to, you know, help the Kongs on their journey and, and whatnot. So, uh, Quox, it's going to take him some time to find out what he's good at. And apparently what he's good at is uh, grabbing onto uh, uh, barrels and, and stuff like that, because that's what he does in DKC3. We'll get to that in DKC3. <laughs> So back to Bluster. Uh, Bluster is like a prude. Uh, you know, if, if you think of like the snooty rich archetype, that's Bluster Kong. He's jealous of Donkey Kong being the hero. Uh, he really dislikes him. Uh, doesn't generally like helping Donkey Kong out. You know, he wants to steal Donkey Kong's girl, but he's like, he, he's so much of a fucking beta that, uh, like, he's, he's got no chance in hell of actually landing Candy. Uh, she blows him off every fucking time, which is great. Uh, I think even when she's mad at Donkey Kong, uh, right, uh, Bluster will be like, Hey, Candy, do you want some of, uh, this Bluster dick? Uh, and she'll just be like, loser. Uh, so... Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, Bluster is just, like... He, he's something, let, let me tell you. Ha has an infinitely better alter ego in uh, Leo Luster, which, you know, is another episode that I think that I'm gonna have to, like, summarize. And, you know, I'm gonna need things to talk about in the next part. So, uh, I, I think I have two episodes that I uh, am gonna want to watch before doing that commentary. So, uh... Yeah, that's, that's Bluster Kong and uh, what he's all about. So, uh, the next thing that I, I want to talk about uh, is I did do uh, some reading up uh, in the uh, Donkey Kong Country 2 manual. Just to, to get some insight into uh, the game and maybe see if there was any material that I wanted to talk about. Uh, and there is like a, a properly written story for the game uh, in, in the manual. I think I'm going to talk about that more in the uh, extra video, but it explains how exactly Donkey Kong got kidnapped and everything like that. So uh, that's in there, but uh, what I wanted to talk about a little more was actually like the the descriptions of like uh, the maps and, and whatnot. So, like, each world uh, has its own little uh, description section in the the manual. Uh, oh, we're, we're up to Web Woods now. Okay, so just before I get into that, good lord, Web Woods. Uh, that, <laughs> that level is an absolute fucking pain. My least favorite level in this game, aside from... Uh, Clobber Carnage, and uh, especially Animal Antics. My fucking god. Like, uh, of the normal DKC2 levels, uh, outside of the Lost World, this is my least favorite of the levels. It is the longest level in the game. Uh, most of it, you have to control Squitter, who, uh, again, can't jump on enemies. Uh, so, like, you, you gotta get real used to using the projectiles and whatnot, or just uh, finding a way to generally avoid the enemies in, in the level. It, it is a fucking slog uh, in order to get through. There's a couple annoying-ass bonus areas. It's, it's just, like, 
it, it's a real test of your uh, animal buddy skill here uh, with with Squitter. But in order for me to actually like you know have something to talk about during this level, let's go back to uh, those uh, world maps in the uh, DKC2 manual. So uh, the descriptions of the worlds. It's, it's like, I guess I'll start with uh, Gloomy Gulch. I wasn't really thinking about talking about it, uh, but, you know, we are in this world after all, so it would make sense. I, I find that uh, one of the interesting things here that they describe about Gloomy Gulch is, like, the enemies that you have to look after, because there's cloaks, and cloaks are like the, uh, the floating uh, pirate jackets uh, that throw shit at you uh, that we've seen since uh, the third world. So it's kind of weird that they, they bring it up in the manual here, but it's not like the bosses revolved around uh, Cloak or anything like that. Uh, it also mentions Cackle, and this is the only world where we see Cackle. But he's only in one level, so, you know, that's a another weird thing. Uh, spoiler alert here, but the boss is neither of them. You know, the boss is going to be uh, the, the crow that we saw in the first world uh, out for revenge uh, for, uh, you know, uh, killing him or her. So, you know, I, I, I just find it kind of funny. Like, maybe maybe this was written by, uh, or well, I, I know that this was written by someone involved in Nintendo Power. Uh, at least I, I read that. Um... So, I, I don't know, maybe they just had, like, barely any notes to go by. And, and whatnot. Um, so, uh, like, the, the last world uh, was described as, like, uh, you know, uh, some, like, Crazy Kremland was described as, like, the place where Kremlings go to have fun uh, and whatnot. Uh, but... You can tell that this is uh, Kong propaganda. <laughs> Just to go back to the theory from uh, the first game and uh, last part here. When they say that uh, the rides are dangerous as well as broken down. Uh, excuse me. The rides may be dangerous, but they aren't broken down. They work perfectly fine. Uh, so... You know, uh, what the hell, uh, game manual? Uh, you, you, are you insinuating that these levels are unbeatable? <laughs> because, I, I assure you, the, the coasters in Crazy Kremland work perfectly fine. So, th that's, that's just, you know, complete ridiculousness, uh, right there. Absolutely. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. And then uh, the, the final world description of uh, any note that uh, I, I, I thought would be interesting to talk about was uh, K. Rule's Keep, uh, which is described as uh, Captain K. Rule is no fool. He saved the most deadly traps for use in his own fortress lair. None has entered... Beautiful grammar there. None has entered <laughs> K. Rule's Keep and lived to tell the tale. Will Diddy or Dixie be the first? So, like, I, I don't know, uh, maybe there's another layer to uh, this uh, fucking conspiracy here with uh, the, the Kongs. Was that description of Crazy Kremland actually, uh, you know, uh, Kong propaganda? It, does, does K. Rule just fucking kill people? Or is, is this also Kong propaganda? You know, uh, absolutely crazy stuff. But, I, I don't know, with, with how much of a lumbering fool King K. Rule is, uh, I, I don't see him, like, really killing anybody. Aside from me, a lot, because I'm a shitty player and I fucking suck at this game. But, you know. Uh, one of the uh, bonus levels I just did, so uh, I should probably actually, like, you know, explain the bonus levels in in this here level. 
Uh, we're about to uh, reach another one, actually, uh, with the, the banana arrow that was pointed out. But uh, as you saw, uh, there was a uh, cannon, I believe, uh, the enemy is called. Uh, and uh, just like this one here, uh, except this one is, you know, a much more normal speed shot. I had to uh, let him stick around, uh, shoot his projectile, and uh, like the first one it went by really fucking slow. Uh, and I had to backtrack to a wall where, you know, it blew a hole in the wall and uh, then it, it allowed me to go into the bonus room. Same deal here. Uh, and now I actually have 100% on the uh, uh, bonus rooms in uh, Webwoods. And, you know, that's that's what's cited a lot as a, a reason why this level is annoying. Here's another one. The DK coin flashes by so fucking quick uh, in the strength test goal, but I fucking got it. And that's like probably what I'm proud of the most in this uh, whole playthrough is getting 100% on Webwoods. You know, I, I wouldn't have expected to, to get it done at all. Uh, but, you know, it took me a, a few lives, uh, but I, I made it through. <laughs> so, uh, that, that's pretty goddamn cool. Pretty goddamn cool. So, uh, Creepy Crow has returned. Or, uh, perhaps, uh, because he's dead, he's Creepy Crow. I, I believe that's, uh, what it was called here on the map. Uh, basically, uh, what you gotta do is, uh, watch out for the, uh, ghost neckies, uh, and then hit the live one in order to spawn a barrel and, uh, uh, then ram it into the crow. It, it becomes a little more tricky as, uh, things, uh, get on later because, uh, they start coming out, I, I believe, a little faster each time. Uh, not to mention... You know, uh, the, the live crow was the very last one in the, uh, previous go-around. So, um... When he when he summons them when he summons them in the uh, uh, second phase here, uh, it's the second to last one, and uh, in in the next phase uh, it's going to be the third to last one. So you got to watch out for that. But uh, generally, especially if Diddy is the one that you're in control of, uh, which is why I keep switching to Dixie, uh, you know, just in case, uh, you know, just in case one of the Kongs has to go, it, it's going to be Dixie because. Uh, when Diddy holds a, a barrel or a holdable item, he uses it more like a shield, and uh, it, it's just more helpful with bosses like these. But uh, here we see uh, uh, the, the end of that, the end result, uh, of course. He's just going to fly in there like a fucking idiot, and then I guess he goes into the afterlife uh, because uh, his, his uh, business is finished now, as uh, BJ, the great Clement's friend, put it. Uh, and uh, you know what? I can agree with that. Uh, he, he has no more unfinished business. So that's how that boss fight works. It can be pretty annoying. I, I handled it pretty well. Uh, the, the eggs in between the phases there can really fuck you up. And uh, I'm, I'm surprised I didn't get hit the first time. They even give you a DK barrel when you're going through like the first round of uh, avoiding eggs and stuff. So... Uh, it's it's pretty tough, uh, but it's definitely manageable, and uh, I, I kind of like that boss fight. Uh, to be perfectly honest, it's it's pretty fun. So yeah, that's uh, basically uh, it for uh, everything in uh, Gloomy Gulch. Uh, made it through the uh, the ghost levels uh, perfectly alive and intact. <laughs> I got a hundred fucking percent in Web Woods. Good shit. Good shit. Definitely some good shit. So. Uh, next time, it is going to be a fucking marathon, 50 plus minutes of game footage, because not only are we going through World 6, K Rules Keep, we are also going to be going through World 7, uh, the final world with a, a level in a boss fight, that would be the Flying Croc, 50 plus minutes of action, uh, and my god, how am I going to make it through? But uh, I'm going to have to, if, if I want this uh, commentary to you know, go up and be on YouTube and everything, so uh, I'm up to the task. So, join me next time for the uh, finale of Donkey Kong Country 2. I've been Skull902. Thank you for watching, and have yourselves a wonderful day.